almost forgot I should show you. I'm putting these tires on there. There's some uh, neat old fire stones I found a while ago. I gotta knock them off the rim and move to center. Um, I don't know if you can see, I cut these tires with the chainsaw. I'll show you that sometime. But uh, I gotta knock them the rest of the way off the rim. I knocked this side off. I gotta flip it over now and knock the other side off. So I better get to it. Tighter than the other side. Tires are hard 
and old and there's all kinds of rust underneath the rim. I'm going to have to try to clean that rim up with the tire still on there a little bit to, to get uh, a smoother surface for that tire to come up over there. It's catching pretty good. so. And uh, I've also called in the big guns. <laughs> Got a buddy named Tom who's a tire expert. And uh, I think he's going to come and help me group, knock them off there. Um, the tires, when they get a look at them, usually just jump right off of there because they don't want him to get his hands on them because he's, he's a tough-looking character. But anyhow, he don't come any better. He's a good-hearted soul. Anyway, uh, if he'll let me, I'll get some footage of him tomorrow. That's when he's coming by. All right, see ya. Hey, I figured I'd show you something a little interesting this morning. Uh, I don't know, some of you guys that are watching may not know. <laughs> I'm sure most of you do, though. Uh, those, uh, some of the people watching are not from a farming background. Got some city folks that <clears throat> have comments that they <laughs> are watching so anyway tractor tires are filled with liquid sometimes to get more ballast on in a tractor so you have more weight and get better traction um, used to use a calcium chloride solution which is good and it's heavy and but calcium chloride solution uh, well it also keeps it from freezing <laughs> which is important <laughs> um, <clears throat> but it's very corrosive and makes your rims rust uh, they use something a little different now there's just some different things there's uh, methanol uh, some people put beet juice in there which I would not recommend It's horrible horrible disgusting terrible stuff to use if you ever have had to deal with it as a someone changing tires if you had a flat tire uh, if you're using that you're gonna wish that you never thought about doing that it's terrible um, <clears throat> anyway <clears throat> these tires here I've had them for about 10 12 years they had, had calcium in them calcium chloride solution this one here even though it was just still in the inner tube, a little bit of residue that might come out, not fumes, but a little bit of residue that might come out, even rusted around where the valve stem was. This other tire, I realized it back then, but I should have done something about it back then. Had a hole in the tube and the calcium had leaked out in between the tire and the rim. And just sitting, ate that rim up. That it was absolutely nothing left of it and it can't even be used. That's how corrosive calcium chloride solution is. I couldn't believe it when I started to knock this tire off the rim. But anyhow, I guess I'll be making another set of rims. Which is no big deal. I had to move the centers in these anyway, which is why I was knocking them off. But, uh... <clears throat> Always something extra to do that you wasn't figuring on. Anyway, thought you'd find that interesting. Now, I'm going to use this to, <laughs> to knock the, uh, finish knocking the rim in half. That's something.
I never would have believed <laughs> it would have ate that much. Just, well, set 10 years in that closed up environment. Whew. Unbelievable. I'm just glad I can still use a tire. Hey, we uh, <laughs> had my good buddy come by and we got that other tire off the rim. It took us about a half an hour. And he's a professional tire changer. But he did, he enjoys watching my channel, but he did not want to be a featured guest on it. So <laughs> I respected his wishes and we didn't film anything. But it, <laughs> it was quite a battle to get that. <laughs> That one off the rim, but we did. And uh, I found another rim <clears throat> that I can, that I have around here that I can split and make into a rim to match the one that disintegrated. So anyway, I'll probably film that later on. But anyway. Whew. I guess I'll uh, get this up so y'all can look at it. Catch you later.